Hi there. Are you looking for this? Uh, wait! Come back! What happened? <gasps> Hero? Excellent save, Leo. These are Easter eggs, Hero. They're eggs that have been painted. We celebrate Easter with them. I know what we can do with the eggs, Katie. Let's have an Easter egg hunt for Hero. We can hide the eggs and Hero will find them. That sounds exciting, Leo. Hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. Happy Easter. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. Happy Easter to you too. I'm on an Easter egg hunt and look what I found in the bush. It's a giant Easter egg. It's painted green and it's still warm. Whoa, it's almost as big as your face, Kyle. I know, right? What bird could have laid such a huge egg? Could it be a giant chicken? I don't think there are giant chickens, Kyle. But I can look for more information on my computer. Cool. While you search for more information, I'll search for more Easter eggs. Ranger out. There it is. The egg doesn't belong to a giant chicken. It belongs to an emu. An emu. That's right. Emus are the second largest birds in the world after the ostriches. While their eggs are smaller than the ostrich, an emu egg is about eight times the size of a chicken egg. By the way, it wasn't painted green. So nobody painted it? It's supposed to be green? That's right. Like the ostriches, emus are flightless birds that live on the ground. Because of their large size, their wings are too small and weak for them to fly. Their nests are found on the ground where they keep their eggs warm. Hi, Kyle. Hey, Leo. Look, I found another egg. I'm so going to win the egg hunt this year. Looks like you're having a blast at the hunt, Kyle. We have some information about the giant egg you found. It's not an Easter egg. It's an emu's egg. What? An emu's egg? That's right. And it's not painted green. It is green. And we think the emu egg was separated from its nest. We have to return the egg to its parents immediately. But I don't see any nests around here. Send us your location, Kyle. We'll be right over to help. And try to keep the egg warm. On it. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hey, guys. Hi, Kyle. Sorry you had to cut your Easter egg hunt short. Where did you put the emu egg? It's right here. Safe and warm. That's the emu's egg? I got a little bored waiting for you guys, and I had some paint left over. It's Easter. I thought it'd be fun. What do you think? I think it's more important that we get the egg safely back to its nest. Guys, did you hear that? Could that be an emu? Wait for us, Kyle. Could they be looking for their egg? I'll go get it, Katie. Be careful, Leo. I really hope it's theirs. Hi there. Are you looking for this? Uh, wait, come back. What happened? The emus don't recognize the egg because of all the paint. There's no time to waste. We need to catch up to them. Jetpack activate. I'm right behind you, Leo. I have an idea. Surely they'll recognize their egg now. Good thinking, Leo. Woohoo! Best Easter ever! Look, emus! I got the paint off! It's a green emu egg. They're going too fast to look at the egg. Who's going too fast? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Why are you chasing after the emus, Junior Rangers? We're trying to return an egg to them, but we scared them off instead. Chasing after them might not be the best solution, Leo.
You see, emus have long, powerful legs that allow them to travel great distances. Sometimes they go up to a speed of 50 kilometers an hour. How else can we get their attention, Ranger Rocky? Emus are curious animals. A shiny object will definitely get their attention. Hey, Kyle, I think your ATV could use a wash. Uh, what? Wow, I didn't know my ATV could sparkle like that. Let's hope it's shiny enough to attract the emus. Why aren't they here yet? Where could the emus be? Be patient, Junior Rangers. I have a feeling they are very nearby. <gasps> my shiny ATV works. Great plan, Leo. Oh, and they see the egg. Yes, it is their egg. We did it. We returned the egg to them. Mommy Emu must be really happy to be sitting on her egg and keeping it warm again. Actually, Kyle, it is the male emu that keeps the eggs warm. Oh, that's a good dad. So, do you think I'll be able to get my ATV back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we managed to reunite the egg with the emus. Hero! Hero! Is this thing loud enough? Hero, there you are. Leo, I could hear you all the way across the garden. Really? <laughs> Oops, sorry, Katie. Huh? What do you... I forgive you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's up? Leo, I really need your help. I lost Patches. Calm down, Kai. Who's Patches? <sighs> Patches is my sister's pet rabbit. I brought Patches to Rabbit Island to play. Rabbit Island? Yeah, it's an island full of rabbits. <gasps> full of rabbits? That sounds fun. It was fun until I lost Patches. I can't find her anywhere. Don't worry, Kai. The Junior Wildlife Rangers are here to help. We'll be right over. Thanks, guys. See you on Rabbit Island. Ranger out. Rabbit Island is a small island just off the coast of Japan. There are hundreds of rabbits on the island, and it is a popular tourist destination. How did so many rabbits end up on one small island? It is said that all the rabbits came from a small group of rabbits brought there by some children. Oh no! It also says that cats and dogs are not allowed on the island. Oh, dogs are not allowed? Sorry, Hero. You can't come with us this time. <laughs> Look at all the rabbits. I'm in heaven. They're so cute. Can I take you home? Hi, guys. Thanks for hopping by. Anytime, Kai. My sister is going to be so mad if I don't find Patches. Do you have a picture of her? I sure do. Here. I see. Patches is a white rabbit with black patches around her eyes. But Patches is special. There's a patch of fur that's shaped like a heart near her tail. Hmm. There are loads of white rabbits with black patches here. It's going to be difficult to spot a heart. I was hoping Hero could help sniff her out. <laughs> Hero, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Aw, I can't say no to that. I guess you really want to join us. I don't know, Leo. Dogs are not allowed. Please. We need Hero's help. <sighs> Fine. But you'll have to be on your best behavior, Hero. And you'll have to wear a disguise. How about some rabbit ears? <coughs> awesome. Here, Hero. Do you smell patches anywhere? Wait for us, hero! Uh, I think hero is a little distracted. No, hero, stay! It's no wonder dogs are not allowed on the island. How are we going to look for patches now? We can simply use my x-ray vision to see what's happening underground. Great idea! What do you see, Kai? I see lots of rabbits. 
Let's find some food to lure the rabbits out. Or we can use a carrot smell bomb. It's going to smell like carrots everywhere. The rabbits are going to love it. One carrot smell bomb coming right up. It's working. But we're back to square one. With all the rabbits around, it's impossible to find Patches. Hmm, does Patches respond to anything special? Well, oh, oh, Patches falls asleep when my sister sings her a bedtime lullaby. So, if someone sings a lullaby and a rabbit falls asleep, we'll know that's Patches. But how are we going to sing to all the rabbits on the island? With this, of course. Great idea, Leo! We should be able to spot a sleeping rabbit from here. Ready, Kai? <clears throat> patches, patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. Huh? Something's wrong. None of the rabbits are falling asleep. Let me try. Patches, patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. Nope, no sleeping rabbit either. Are we doing something wrong? What if it has to be a girl's voice? Me? All right, for Patches. Patches, Patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. The rabbits are running away. Was my singing that bad? Look, there's a rabbit asleep. <laughs> White rabbit, black patches around his eyes, a heart-shaped patch near his tail. Patches! It's her! It's really her! We found patches! Yes, and it's all thanks to you, Katie. That was some awesome ranger work. <laughs> thanks, Leo. And just in time, it's my sister calling to check on Patches. Can we keep today's mission a secret? <laughs> <laughs> a lion. It needs help. Let's go check it out. It is coming from inside. <gasps> Are you all right? It is trapped. Do not worry, we will get you out of there. We better call Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. Hi, Leo. I found a lion trapped in a cave. <gasps> a lion? Is it hurt? It is fine, but I do not know how to get it out. Have a look at this photo. Whoa, the mighty king of the jungle. Hang tight, Jane. We'll be right over to help. Okay. I will send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. I can't wait to meet a lion up close. Me too, Leo. I'm sure the computer can tell us more about them. There it is, the African lion. Oh, it seems the lion Jean found is actually a lioness, a female lion. Typically, male lions have manes, while female lions don't. Lions might be known as the king of the jungle, but most lions actually live in the savannas or grasslands. Lions are the only cats that live in groups called prides. A pride can have 2 to 40 lions and is made up of 3 or 4 male lions, dozens of lionesses, and their cubs. A lion's mighty roar is used to communicate with one another. It's so powerful that it can be heard as far as eight kilometers away. That's about the length of 80 football fields. Rawr! <laughs> I think you can do better, Leo. Well, practice makes perfect. But we've got a lioness to save. Let's go. Hi, Jane. Oh, hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Have a look up here. Whoa! Don't worry, we'll get you out! How are we going to move the boulder? It looks like a job for Platypus One. What was that? 
More lions. They are coming our way. I see them. They must have heard the lioness. I think they are part of her pride. It's dangerous for us to stay here. Everyone, get in! <laughs> Let's move away first. It looks like the other lions don't know what to do. We just have to lure them away. That's a good point, Katie. But how? Hmm, I wonder. Aha! Did you guys know that cheetahs can run faster than lions? Zoomy is very fast. That's it! Zoomy can help lure the lions away while we remove the boulder. It sounds like a good plan. Stop right there. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! How long have you been on that boulder? Long enough to listen to your plan. It is way too dangerous. In a pride, lionesses do most of the hunting, while male lions help keep the pride safe. With their big, sharp teeth, they're not to be messed with. Zumi could be in great danger. Sorry, Zumi. Hmm, did the lioness fall into the cave while hunting for food, Ranger Rocky? Actually, they give birth to cubs in a secluded den like a cave, usually away from their pride. <gasps> So it's likely that she gave birth in the cave and got trapped inside. There could be newborn cubs in there. We need to hurry, rangers. Those big cats sure are a handful. Cats. I got it. But I'll need your help, Ranger Rocky. At your service, Leo. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, that's it. Lions are really just big cats. Come on, over here! Now, go, go, go! No, 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 bad kitty! All done. <gasps> Zoom me! <gasps> oh no! Jetpack activate! Zoom me! I am coming for you! It's too dangerous! No! Zoomy! Huh? <laughs> the lioness thinks Zoomy is a cub. All right! Stand clear! We did it! Woohoo! Zoomy, you scared me back there. Watch out, Leo. The other lions are heading back to the cave now. Then we better get out of here. Bye, lioness. Bye, baby cubs. Mission accomplished. <gasps> Look, over there. <laughs> no, hero. If we move, we lose. Huh. You guys are good. It's your watch, Leo. Aren't you going to answer it? No? Well then, Junior Ranger Katie speaking. Oh, hi, Jane. Hello, Katie. Mm, where is Leo? <laughs> We're playing a game. And if he moves, he loses. So it's just me today. <laughs> I see. What's up? Someone has destroyed an important animal statue that belongs to a village. Oh, no. Do you know who did it? I have no clue. I need your help to find and stop the statue destroyer. I am worried for the other statues. Yes, we love a good mystery, don't we, hero? <laughs> we'll be right over, Jane. Great, I will send you my location. Ranger, out. Ranger, out. <laughs> you move, you lose. I win. Well, ranger duty calls, but I demand for a rematch when we get back. Over here. It is such a pity. Huh? What was that? Oh no, the statues. No, not again. Who could have done?
done this. The statue was just fine a second ago. There was a strange sound. <gasps> Guys, I found something. Look. A bird's footprint. And it's huge. I've just sent you its photo, Katie. Can you tell what type of bird it is? Let's find out. These prints belong to a shoe bill. That's a real bird? Yep, with their long wings and impressive height. Shoe bills are big birds. Shoe bills are named after their shoe shaped bills, which are pretty handy. There's a sharp edge that helps them cut their food, and a bill acts like a container that stores water. Shoe bills are quiet most of the time, but they can create quite a clatter with their bills. You know, that bird statue kind of looks like the shoe bill in the photo. Hmm. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? That it's an awesome statue? <laughs> no, Leo. First, that sound. Then, the footprints. That's not a shoe bill statue. It is an actual shoe bill, and it destroyed the statues. But it doesn't move. Hmm. Oh, it says here that shoe bills can stay as still as a statue for hours without moving. So it's an actual bird? I think so. The only way to know for sure is to make it move. Oh, then let's get to it. What are you doing, Zoomy? She's trying to get a reaction out of the shoe bill. <gasps> Hero! <gasps> Are you okay, Hero? Huh? Eggs? Leo, I think they belong to... <gasps> the shoe bill. It is moving. I guess it is not a statue after all. I kind of wish it was. Statue! Jetpack Jet activate! Phew! That was close! It's back! Ah! Uh oh! Jetpack activate! Ah! Katie! Too heavy! Huh? Need a hand? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Look out! Get behind me, Junior Rangers! Oh no, you don't! Calm down now. This is one angry shoebill. What happened? I'm not sure. I think we found its eggs. I see. Shoebills take good care of their eggs. Besides protecting them, they even water their eggs, sometimes four to five times a day, to cool them down. They'll also pack their nests with cool, wet grasses and stand over their eggs to provide shade. It's just protecting its eggs. Hero! The eggs! Whoa, got it! For the safety of the eggs and the statues, we should move the shoebill's nest. Good idea, Leo. It really doesn't like people messing with its eggs. Then let's move the statues instead, after we calm it down. There are no shoebill nests around. These statues should be just fine. What's up, Jane? Come quick. You are going to want to see this. We're on our way back. The shoebill's eggs have hatched. Aww, the shoebill isn't that scary after all. What's it doing anyway? It spat its food out and it's feeding it to its chicks. Ew! Ew. Oh. Mission accomplished. 
Hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. Hey, Leo. Is something wrong, Kyle? My ATV's been taken over by spiky hedgehogs. They're everywhere. They're on the handles, on the seat, on the wheels, under the wheels. They won't leave, and I can't get to my ATV at all. Hedgehogs? What are they doing on your ATV? Nothing. They're just there. I tried picking them up, but they're too prickly. Here, I took a photo of them. Hmm. We'll be right over to help you get your ATV back. Thanks. See you guys soon. Ranger out. All right. Let's go find out what animals have taken over Kyle's ATV. Just as I suspected. Those spiky animals aren't hedgehogs. They're echidnas. Echidnas? That's right. The echidna, also known as the spiny anteater, is one of only two mammals that lay eggs. The other mammal is the platypus. Echidnas love to eat ants and termites. They have no teeth, so they use their long, sticky tongues to slurp up the ants. So, the animals on Kyle's ATV are echidnas. Let's head over to help Kyle get those echidnas off his ATV. Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Did you figure out what to do about the hedgehogs? They're not hedgehogs, Kyle. They're echidnas. Echidnas, huh? Well then, excuse me, echidnas. Will you please get down from my ATV? Oh no, not another one. What's wrong, Hero? Whoa! Is that an echidna or a ball? Either way, I wouldn't touch that. It says here that when an echidna is frightened, it curls up into a ball to protect itself with its armor of spines. Were you trying to play with the echidna, Hero? I know you meant well, Hero, but you should keep a safe distance away from them. Their spines would hurt you. They refuse to leave. I'm never going to be able to use my ATV again. How will I travel now? There are other forms of transport, Kyle. You know what would be a good way to get to places quickly? These bad boys right here. Your boots? My legs, to be precise. I can run really fast. Just watch. Woohoo! Oh, I can run like the... <sighs> Wind. We really need to get my ATV back. Did you guys see that? My snack box just moved. I think something is trapped inside. Well, let's have a look then. But how are we going to open the box? We can't get too close to the echidnas. They'll hurt us. Aha! I have an idea. Jetpack activate! <laughs> I'll just use my grabber. Great thinking, Leo. Oh, it's another echidna inside. Are my snacks safe? I don't think there's any left. <gasps> Not my snacks, too. Look, the other echidnas are moving towards the snack box. That's strange. Why are the rest of them trying to get to the echidna in the snack box? Because that's the female echidna. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! It's an echidna train. Choo-choo! A, a train? train? During mating season, male echidnas would follow a female echidna around, forming an echidna train. When the female is ready to make babies, the males will dig a circular pit in the ground and try to push each other out of it. The winner will make babies with the female. Judging from how the others are trying to get close to that echidna, it must be the female echidna. So, the other echidnas will follow the female wherever she goes? That's right, Katie. Hmm, I got it. If we want to get all the echidnas off Kyle's ATV, we have to find a way to lure the female echidna off. Then, the rest will follow. Perhaps she's hungry? We did find her in my snack box, and all the food is gone. Food? That's it! We should set up a picnic! Because echidnas like picnics? 
No, Kyle, but echidnas like to eat ants. And ants are attracted to picnics. Good idea, Leo. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's have a picnic. Mm, mm, mm. Look, it's working. The ants are headed this way. The female echidna has spotted the ants. She is on the move, too. It's an echidna train. Choo choo! <laughs> Bye, Bye echidnas. echidnas! Yes, we did it! I got my ATV back and I get to enjoy a picnic. <laughs> This is turning out to be the best day ever! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks for bringing us up here, Kyle. I'm looking forward to this hike. Do we have everything we need, Leo? I've got my tablet, water bottle, and some food. Let's see. I've got my rope, my water bottle, my binoculars. I've got my boomerang right here. Just your boomerang? It's all I need. Oh, not forgetting some hero snacks. I think we have everything, Katie. Whoa, did you guys hear that? Now, what could that be? It came from our backpacks. What's it doing? Hey, be careful with my tablet. Let's take a picture of you, you curious bird. I sent you the photo, Katie. Can you check what bird it is? I'm on it, Leo. It seems this bird is a Kia. A Kia? A Kia is the world's only alpine parrot. It means it lives high up in the mountains. The Kia is easily recognizable by its distinct Kia call. Kia! <laughs> <laughs> One curious bird, aren't you? I think the Kia is trying to get friendly with you, Leo. <gasps> hey, that's the Kia Platypus One. Get that back, Kia. Kia! Kia! It's flying away with our key. We need that key to get back home or we'll be stuck here. We have to get it back. Let's use our jetpacks to go after the Kia. Got it, Leo. <laughs> Jetpack jet activate. activate. Up with you guys in my ATV. There. Good work, Katie. Let's go get our key back. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. No, if we scare him, he'll just fly away again. Katie mentioned that the Kia is a playful bird. What if we build something that'll distract it long enough for us to get our key back? Something to distract it. Hmm. I've got an idea. What are you thinking of, Katie? Okay, the first thing we need to do is, I call it the inside out cage. An inside out cage? That's right. The Kia will be attracted to the yummy berries and he'll try to get them. But since the berries are trapped inside the cage, there's no way he's going to get them. The Kia will be stuck outside as he tries to reach for the berries. So, Instead of having the Kia in a cage, the inside-out cage keeps the Kia outside. That's right. And once he's too busy to pay attention to our key, that's our chance to get it back. Hero will sneak up to it and grab the key. An inside-out cage. I love it. Here it comes. Quick, everyone, hide. I hope it works. Me too. You can say that again, Hero. I would not underestimate the intelligence of the Kia Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? The Kia doesn't have your everyday bird brain. They're highly intelligent. 
They can solve puzzles, and they even use tools to help them get food. Your inside-out cage might be a little too easy for this clever parrot. But who knows? Let's see what the Kia will do. I think he saw the berries. He dropped the key. Your turn, hero. Be careful not to alert the Kia. There's no way the Kia will get to the berries. He's using a stick? No way! He's got the berries! Quick, Hero! Get the key! How did he do that? Kias are puzzle solvers. Like other parrots, Kias have four toes on each foot. Two that point forward and two that point backward. That means they can use their feet just like hands. That's how it held the stick and used it to get the berries out so quickly. Wow! wow. That's impressive! You were right, Ranger Rocky. The Kia is too smart for us. Don't be disheartened, Katie. I'm sure you'll be able to find other ways to distract the Kia. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. I'll try checking my tablet again. There's something I have to attend to. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! I found something else! It says here that the Kia gets into a playful mood when they hear a play call. When they hear other Kias make that sound, they drop everything and they start to play! A play call, huh? I think I know how we can get our key back! Come on, Kia! It's time to play! <laughs> Whoa, whoa, easy there. Now, hero. Yes, he got it. It worked. Wow. Hey, Leo, you might want to turn around. Whoa. <laughs> I think they all want to play. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what an adventure. Animals, come on out. Not a single animal anywhere. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> Almost. Ah, <laughs> oh, so close. I'll get it this time, hero. <laughs> Rapid fire. That's how you do it, Leo. Way to go, Katie. <laughs> Good job, Hero. I'll get you next round. Maybe we should make the antlers bigger. That way you won't miss. Oh, yeah? Let's go one more round. Oh, hold on. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. I just ran into a strange animal, and I'm not sure what it is. Have you ever seen this animal before? Hmm, it's a bit small and hard to see. We can use the computer to make the photo bigger. To the treehouse! Stay on the line, Zari. See you later, hero. <laughs> Let's zoom in, sharpen, and it's a greater mouse deer. Greater mouse deer are found in tropical rainforests around Southeast Asia, and they usually live near areas with water. Being nocturnal means mouse deer are more active at night. However, they are extremely shy and prefer being alone. When a mouse deer senses danger, it'll stomp its feet on the ground, creating a drum roll sound to warn others. Don't deer have antlers to help protect themselves? This mouse deer doesn't have any. No worries, Zari. We'll come over to help keep it safe. Ranger out. Let's go protect the mouse deer. See deer directly downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Hi, Zari! Thanks for coming, guys! 
set of antlers to protect yourself from bad guys. Great idea, Leo. And voila! Do you like them? No, no, that's not how you use them. First, you've got to be fierce to scare off predators. Show us your fierce face. A predator! <laughs> that was a good one, Hero. And you make an excellent deer, Leo. Hmm, something's not right. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> a real predator! Here's your chance to put those antlers to work. We saved the greater mouse deer from a predator. Ah, missed again. I want to play too. Check this out. Here goes. Hey, Leo. Oops. Sorry, Katie. Great job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Look over there, Pico! A Waba tree! Yay! Finally! Oh, man! All these Waba fruits have been beaten into! Oh! There's one perfect fruit left! Huh? No! Pico, stop! Pico! You ate the Waba! Why did you do that? I know you're hungry, but I said I need it for my herbal mixture. Huh? What do you mean I don't care about you? What? That's not true. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Huh? Pico, where are you? Oh no. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Peo. What's up? I was angry at Pico for eating my waba, and I told him that I didn't want to talk to him anymore. Then he flew away, but I didn't mean it. Please, help me get him back. Oh, no! That sounds bad. Don't worry, Peo. We'll find Pico. Since Pico is a toucan, let's start by learning more about toucans to find out where Pico went. Did you find anything about toucans to help us find Pico? Let's see. Pico is a toco toucan. Both male and female toucans have large, colorful bills. But young toco toucans, like Pico, do not have a large bill at birth. It grows as they develop and does not become full size for several months. A toucan's bill weighs lighter than it looks. It's made of the same protein as fingernails. A toucan's bill and our fingernails are made of the same stuff? Cool! Yeah, and their bills have different uses. Toco toucans distribute heat away from their body by adjusting blood flow to their bill. 
It helps keep them cool. Fruits are a toucan's main source of food. They use their bills to help them peel fruits. Oh, so toucans love fruits, huh? Maybe Pico left to search for more guavas to eat. Let's go find him. Hey, Peo, Pico should be around here somewhere. There are lots of guava trees and toucans love to eat fruits. I know, Leo, but he's not here. It seems like just yesterday when I found Pico as an abandoned egg. He was so small. Huh? Wow! Ah! It's raining guavas! <laughs> Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? What are you doing in the guava tree, Ranger Rocky? I'm collecting guavas for a wildlife research project. Why do you look so sad, Peo? And where's Pico? He left, Ranger Rocky. I was mean to him, so he probably went looking for his Tukan family instead. I'm never going to see him again. Don't give up, Peo. Ranger Rocky, can you tell us where we might find Pico? Certainly, Junior Rangers. You'll be able to find several Toko Toucans living together in a single hollow of a tree. They nest in these tree cavities, some of which are created and abandoned by other birds such as woodpeckers. Toko Toucans usually travel among the trees by hopping. They're not very good at flying. If they do fly, they flap their wings vigorously and glide, traveling only short distances. Perhaps this adult toucan can lead you to Pico. I've got to get these guavas back to the research center. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs> the adult Toko Toucan is hopping away. Then let's follow it. <laughs> Don't worry, Peo. We'll find Pico in no time. I hope so. I miss him so much. Ever since I found him as an abandoned egg, we have spent every moment together. There's a tree full of Toko Toucans over there. Look! Oh, oh, I see him! I see my Pico! Hi, Pico! I'm very sorry for being mean to you. Please, forgive me. No, Pico! Please! I'm sorry! Oh, dear. I think it's very clear Pico doesn't want me anymore. Enjoy yourself with your real family, Pico. I hope to see you again someday. Goodbye. Let's go home. Okay, Peo. What's happening? It sounds like the toucans are in trouble. Let's go back and help them. Oh no, I hope Pico's okay. <laughs> There's no time, Katie. I'll just fly up and try to rescue Pico. Jetpack, activate. Aha! A high-pitched screech might chase the hawk away. Try it, Katie! Ah! Whoa! I can't get to Pico. Turn it off, Katie. <gasps> Sorry, Leo. Ugh. I still can't get to Pico. We found the bloodhound! Wow! So it was the bird that made all those sounds. I wonder what type of bird it is. I sent you a photo, Katie. Can you find more information about it? I'm on it, Leo. 
It seems this bird is a superb lyre bird. A superb lyre bird is an Australian songbird. It has the amazing ability to learn and copy sounds. Adult male lyre birds have a beautiful tail of fanned feathers, but it takes about seven years for its tail to grow to its full length. Hmm, this lyre bird doesn't have its tail, but male lyre birds tend to show off. He's probably a young male. Hey, I recognize that sound. That's a kookaburra. It's another lyre bird. But look at its tail. This lyre bird is definitely older than that one. And that sounds like a cockatoo. No, it's another lyre bird. Is there any sound these lyre birds can't copy? I don't think so, Kyle. Wow! Now they're singing and dancing! Bravo! I don't think the older lyre birds like the sound you made. Well, he does sound very different from them. You can only copy what's around you. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? Lyrebirds tend to copy the sounds they hear from their environment. In the wild, lyrebirds copy the noises of animals in the forest, because that's what they've heard all their life. Then, they'll use it in their song. But the younger lyrebird only makes sounds you can hear in the city. That's right, Leo. That means, unlike the other lyrebirds, he must have spent most of his life in the city. He's different. Cheer up, lyrebird. I can't sing either. La 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 la! See? But it doesn't matter. I'm still the coolest guy I know. Singing and dancing might not be a big deal to us, Kyle, but they are a big part of the male lyrebird's life. It's how they find their partner. In fact, male lyrebirds often get together to practice their song and dance. But the other lyrebirds are avoiding him. If he doesn't learn how to sing and dance like the other lyrebirds, he might not be able to find a partner. Then we've got to fix this. Let's teach him how to sing and dance like the other lyrebirds. You have our word. We're going to turn you into a liar bird superstar. I think he's ready for the performance of his life. But how are we going to show him off to the other lyre birds? I have just the plan. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, animals of the forest, put your hands, paws, and claws together for the lyre bird. Yes, he's doing it. He's dancing perfectly. All that's left is his song. What's going on? Why did he stop? I can't watch. No way, don't leave, uh, just try again. Uh oh, that sounded like a <gasps> dingo. <gasps> 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 
Be careful, Katie. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Hero, come back. It's dangerous. <laughs> Is everybody all right? We sure are. Thanks to the lawyer bird. <laughs> it looks like the other liar birds are impressed with him now. They're singing and dancing together. I guess it's not a bad thing to be different. Sometimes all we have to do is be ourselves. Oh, I just love a happy ending, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> a giant guinea pig! It's trapped. Hang in there. We'll get this off you in no time. Just a little bit more, and you're free. Friendly, but what is it really? Well, let's find out. I've just sent you its photo, Katie. Can you check it out? Let's see. Oh, it's a capybara. Capybaras are the largest rodents in the world. They're closely related to guinea pigs. Capybaras are social animals and are frequently seen hanging out with other animals. No wonder it's so friendly. They're also semi-aquatic, which means that they live both on land and in water. They tend to spend a lot of time near rivers or lakes. Well, we better get back to patrolling the forest for fires. Bye, Capybara. Bye, buddy. Bye-bye. See you later. Oh, hello again. I think it likes you, Peo. Really? Oh! <laughs> Can you come along with us, Leo? Please? Please? Pretty please? Sure, Peo. We could drop it off at a river along the way. Yay! Come on, buddy. Time to go swimming. It doesn't want to go. Hmm. We just need to give it a reason to... Oh, oh! I know! I know! A ball? What's the ball for? It's for the capybara. If I throw the ball into the river, maybe it'll jump into it to chase after the ball. I guess we could give it a shot. Come on, buddy. Get the uh, ball. Hero. Huh? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing in the river, Ranger Rocky? Oh, I've been removing fishing wires. Animals could really hurt themselves by getting tangled up in these. Oh, hello there. Capybaras are strong swimmers. Their toes are partially webbed for paddling. Their small eyes, nose, and ears are located high on their heads, so they can easily keep their faces above water. This helps the capybara stay alert. <gasps> Smoke! Oh, oh. It's a forest fire! Everyone stay calm. I'll put out the fire. Hang tight, Junior Rangers. Be careful, Ranger Rocky! We have to get the animals across the river to safety. Let's get all of them into Platypus One. Sounds like a plan. Good idea. Huh? Where's the capybara? Oh, there it is. <gasps> There's more smoke now. We better hurry. Everyone in? Oh, we'll come back for you later. Promise. Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! And away we go! <gasps> Guys, look! The Capybara's helping us! Awesome! Thanks, buddy! Oh, no! Faster, Leo! 
The smoke is almost at the river. Okay, hang on. Whoa! <laughs> Let's get the rest of the animals. Okay. Roger that. Oh, are you here to help us again? <gasps> Guys, there's something in the water. What is it? It looks like... A snake! Oh, no. It's trapped in fishing wire. Hero, let's use our grabbers to untangle the wire. Katie, take the wheel. Got it. Jetpack, activate. Ugh. All those... It's stuck. Look! The capybara is here to help. Huh? But shouldn't the capybara be afraid of the snake? It's biting through the wire. Well, Snake. Thanks, buddy. You saved it. <gasps> Guys, look. <gasps> oh, no. The snake. No, 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 no. It's going to eat our friend. I can't watch. It's okay, Teo. Look. It looks like the capybara has made a new friend. We made it! Now, let's get these animals out of Platypus 1. Roger that! Roger that! Off you go! Bye! Run, little tortoises! Run! Faster! Guys, look! The smoke is almost gone. Ranger Rocky must have put the fire out. Oh. Ranger Rocky, are you all right? I sure am, Leo. All clear. The fire is out. Good job, Junior Rangers. Yay! We did it! Good job, Ranger Rocky! <laughs> <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon.